So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week four, and we're going to be looking at Everest. If you guys don't know, we usually look at what the new week has to offer with the seasonal challenges and Eververse. So if you guys are away from your screen, you guys can have an idea of what to do when you guys get back. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's get into it. So for the first one, it's going to be all that matters. Complete week four of the We Stand on Broken Quest. I'm going to be real with you guys. This one kind of surprised me um, just because of what happens. I'm not going to spoil it, but i'm just surprised that that happened let me just say that uh cunning liberated defeat combatants in defiant play uh, battlegrounds play playlist using energy weapons earn bonus progress if they also deal void or arc damage not hard at all just use your energy weapons while you're doing the battlegrounds uh strand weaver complete the final strand this one i already have it completed most of you should have that completed as well also rapidly defeat combatants through neo muna bonus for sidearm final blows not hard at all just complete the final strand and you can even use the new sidearm the exotic uh to do this which is really fun focus defiance decode or focus defiant ingrams at the war table during season of defiance this one i already had to complete it when i logged in not hard at all considering uh i ended up doing the the uh duality farm which gave me a lot of defiant ingrams so that's how i got it completed Mod collector, unlock artifact mods, not hard at all. Literally just play the game and once you have enough mods, you unlock this one. I already had it completed. Uh, defeat guardians and momentum control, earn bonus progress for zone advantage. This one's gonna be a lot of fun. I like mo momentum control. Uh, the cool thing is this is gonna be a good way to level up uh, some exotics that you have maybe not been wanting to do. I'm gonna do that and then uh, obviously get this as well so I can get the bright dust. Darkest Nightfall, complete any Nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher. Not hard at all. Just do the hero. Hero is the one that has matchmaking, so just might as well do it. Uh, defeat targets with swords, bows, and glaives in Gambit. But bonus progress for defeating guardians. Glaive, not hard. Sword, not hard. Bow, not hard either. I mean, it's 100, but it's very much doable. Just are people going to do it? That's the, that's the thing. Uh, precision cal calibration, cal calibrate marksman weapons, scout rifles. Sniper rifles and linear fusion rifles by landing precision final blows. Bonus progress against guardians. Not hard at all. Just use the weapons. Uh, we do have iron banner this week, if I remember correctly. So you can complete the iron shapes or iron sharpens iron, which is going to be super dope. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for week four. Nothing too crazy. Uh, for Eververse, it's, it's a little wild because the she has a shader that I was really, really hoping to get. So Iridescent Coral is not the one that I'm thinking about, but it's a cool shader. Uh, has a really cool effect on armor, as you guys can see. We have Lion's Pride, which is from Season of the Lost, if I, or yeah, Season of the Lost, if I remember correctly. It's a pretty cool shader. Um, don't judge it from this. Let me actually, let me change my armor real quick so that way you guys can see it with plate armor. Uh, let's do this one. This one, this one's really good. <clears throat> um, yeah, so Lion's Pride. So the off color will be gold, which is unfortunate considering I, I actually do like that gold, but everything else looks really cool. I just don't like the white personally. And let's look at iridescent coral again, just to, yeah, it, it's really cool on plate armor as you guys can see, but it's a little shiny. So just be aware of that. The stasis entrance, the overcharged shell and the trap setting emo. And for the bottom stuff, we have the blooming guilt, which is for that SMG that I forget its name. What is it called? Uh, Osteostriga. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it looks super dope. I don't know if I'm going to like spend bright dust for it, although I can afford it. Um, I have a bunch. Prometheus Osp, which is just a ship. We have the Lone Howl, the Wanderer's Shell, and we have the first set of the uh, casual set for the Hunter Titan Warlock. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely check it out. I did already make a review for this armor because I did buy it. If you guys want to see it, it's right here. Check it out. I review the armor, it's, uh, show you how, how it shaders, my personal thoughts on it. So that way, if you are interested in it, you guys can see a firsthand look on it in case you're like, I don't know if I like it or not, because a lot of the pieces are very much like the arms personally for the hunters. You can definitely skip because they're, they're pretty terrible. But yeah, check out that video. I would very much appreciate it. For the last thing, we're looking at the pick a card multiplayer emote, which I'm not going to look at. Uh, Harpy's Cry, Signal Processed, and that thing right there. <clears throat> so this is the shader I was talking about. Aerobos, Aerobos uh, Glance. 
this is the shader that is basically super black 2.0 kind of the reason i say kind of is because you can see there's color there's brown unfortunately super black uh was pure black so this isn't a purely black shader because as you guys can see we have brown but this is the best you're gonna get like i personally think this looks super dope and you're definitely going to want to pick this shader up. I'm going to be making a video for this one, hopefully this week. I don't work tomorrow or Thursday, so I should be able to put up, push out a video for this one because I do think it's really, really good. Like you definitely have to pick this one up. I'm pretty sure they'll sell it again um, in the later weeks. I'll see. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll put it up right now. If they are there, uh, I'll check it up in the, the ever schedule. But if not, and this would be your last trance but if i put posted something that you have until that week as well uh we have transcendental ambition which is not a good shader in my opinion it, actually i shouldn't say that it's a pretty cool shader i just don't like the white um to be fair though i don't think any other color would have been better so i think white is probably the best option uh we have gloam strife which is not a good shader in my opinion i don't like the shader at all and then vibrant beach which is also like okay leh, i don't like it it's just i don't know yellow and blues not like well at least this this color of yellow is not a good one or i don't know it's just not that good in my opinion so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think in the comments below i have a bunch of stuff planned let me see if the lost sector is what the fuck no let me see if the lost sector is anywhere good so the lost sector is going to be in Nessus, specifically the Conflux, and it's for the helmet. So that's actually pretty good. Titans, Hunters, Warlocks. I would say more Titans and Hunters because you guys have the better helmets. Although that being said, Hunter Warlocks do have some cool helmets, but nothing too crazy, apparently, from what I've heard. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Uh, be safe, and I'll see you guys later.